Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2014 Dodge Grand Caravan and I will show you how to remove and replace the blower motor. This video will apply to fifth generation of Dodge Grand Caravans made from 2008 all the way up to 2020. Now you might have to replace the blower motor in case it completely failed or in case it started making loud squeaky noise how you increase the fan speed. That means it's uh, slowly failing and has to be replaced. It's not really worth fixing it because new blower motor is not too expensive. If you go with the aftermarket one you can get it for like maybe 70-80 bucks. Okay, so first I will show you my replacement part. Uh, it's the aftermarket one from Napa. And it's gonna have um, three mounting screws holding it. Here, here, and here. And it's gonna have one electrical connection. And that will be, that's pretty much it. Okay, now the blower motor is located just under the glove box, but luckily you don't have to remove the complete glove box. You can access it just from underneath here. So you will have to remove this, this cover. Now to remove the cover, you will have a couple of screws. There will be one right here. It's a Phillips and you'll have one just on the other side as well. I hope you can see it here. So I want to remove those two screws first. Okay, so here is the first one. You'll need a small Phillips screwdriver or a socket or something to be able to access it. It's not too hard, but you'll have to uh, squeeze your hand in there. Okay, and the other screw is a bit harder to get to. I can't really record it, but it's doable. Okay, here it is. Okay, once you have these two guys out, then you have to remove two plastic trim screws to be able to completely remove this cover. Now the trim screws will be right here. So this is one and you'll have one just here on the other side. So you pretty much just want to pop them out. Okay, I'm trying to record this but it's kind of awkward. It's hard to reach actually. Okay, I'll have to use both of my hands but this is the idea. Okay, so once these two uh, pop out, you can completely remove this cover and get it off the way. And now you will have full access to the blower motor, which uh, is held by three screws, which are Torx T20. So you will have one right here, you will have one um, here on the other side. And one here is accessible. Yeah, I know this video is kind of zoomed in, but I have to use flash so you can see what I'm doing. So if I zoom out, I can't turn the flash on my phone. So once again, one screw here, one on the other side and one back there. Torx T20. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, you want to disconnect this electrical connector. That's quite easy to do. There's like a clip you want to press here on the top. So press it and pull out. Just like this. And now you'll need Torx T20, just like I said, to remove all of these screws. Okay, so I've got one out, now the second one, it's also quite easy accessible. Okay, 
Okay, and the last one is all the way back there. But luckily, you can easily squeeze your ratchet inside and unscrew it. On some other vehicles, this last one is always a pain, but on this one, it's it's doable, yeah. It's not the easiest, but you can do it. Once you remove the last uh, golden screw, the blower motor will be completely loose and will just drop down. Now, one more thing which I forgot to, to mention, everything is disconnected, you just want to pop out this wire from, from this uh, blower motor and then it's uh, all good to go. Okay, so I will show you what was the idea here, you see? There is this also plastic tap, which was inside um, inside this hole right here. So just have you just have to pop it out. It's just a typical plastic trim screw. And then once you install the new blower motor, you can just uh, pop it back in once you connect and install everything. And that's that's pretty much everything. It's quite easy to do actually. It's a 10-15 minute job if you have all the right tools and if you are willing to put your body into a couple of awkward positions, then it's easily doable. Okay, now I won't be recording uh, how I'm installing the new one, that's pretty obvious I think, you just uh, put it in, into the old one's place, uh, install those three screws, mounting screws, and then connect the electrical connection, and that's all, you're done. Thank you for watching this short video, I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.